there, my name is Larissa Luchu and I sit on the board for the Alberta Council for the Ukrainian Arts. I am here today to introduce Olya Kachenko and um, just talk a little bit about her art exhibit that's happening at the uh, Aqua um, Gallery this month. Olya Kachenko was born in Ukraine. Her father, a professional artist, was her first art mentor. In 2014, Olya and her family moved to Canada where she worked at the Ukrainian Museum of Canada in Saskatchewan and led a private art school. Olya's works have been exhibited in Ukraine, France, and Canada. Since 2008, Olya worked as a freelance ch children's illustrator and graphic designer and created a number of children's books for the USA, Canada, and Russia. Olya graduated from the School of Fine Arts studying classic drawing, painting, sculpture, and history of art. She works with various media such as oil, soft pastels, watercolor, batiks, etc. Her hot batik works combine the traditional Ukrainian techniques of pisankas, painted Easter eggs, and modern concepts. Currently, Olya and her husband live in Toronto. She leads a small, leads a small company, Little Big Me, providing illustration and book design services to self-publishing authors. Her artist statement, decorativeness and storytelling are two things I admire. The masters of decorative arts create many miracles. Their patterns painted, drawn, etched, embroidered, printed, and cut in metal. I love creating hot batiks. I paint on fabric using a technique similar to traditional Ukrainian Easter egg decoration. I cover light spots with hot melted wax and soak the fabric in dye. I do this again and again, adding layers of wax and colors, going from light shades to the darkest ones until I get a pattern. By making a pattern is not enough for me. I always wanted to begin from the story, whether well known or not yet written. In the latter case, the viewer can invent their own plot by looking at my work. The story can even be hidden in a statistical thing such as still life. But there it is for sure, because life around us is a story. We should just see it through whimsical patterns. Thank you so much. Please feel free to come visit us here. We are still open and um, come see the beautiful works of art that she has created. Thank you.